hello hello welcome back to the moving vlogs you guys i know that last one threw you all for a loop and trust me i was right there with you i was in such pain after all the drama but we're back we're better and we are in a positive mood an uplifted mood it is the weekend so i really plan on just getting a bunch of stuff done for the apartment i am gonna start off probably just getting some groceries today i need to get things to fill up my fridge and then I also got a notification that I had a package downstairs, so I have to figure out what that is because I really wasn't expecting anything yet. Um, and then what else? I will be getting my couch tomorrow, which is really exciting. The only thing is it's like a pretty big delivery window. It's from like 8 a.m. until 5 p.m., so I don't know exactly when it's coming, which means that I kind of have to be home the whole time, but that'll give me time to just like do things around the apartment. Um, I want to build this little pedestal table that I have in mind for next to my couch and just like clean up around the place and do little tasks. So that's pretty much the agenda. Oh, I almost forgot. I also am planning a trip to Industry City at some point. It's basically in Brooklyn and they've got a bunch of like outlet shops and there's a West Elm outlet. So I'm trying to see if I can find like a little dining room table, really like a bistro style cafe table. Something small enough that I can actually fit into the apartment without making the space really small. And I'm still on the hunt for a coffee table. So we'll see about that. I just have a few pieces in mind that I kind of want to see at the outlets. See if they have any of those available and see what kind of prices I'm looking at because you know West Elm when it's full price it can be a bit expensive. So hopefully I can get a good deal, but I'll bring you guys along. We'll do the whole thing. Let's get to it. I just went on a little Trader Joe's run, picked up some flowers and some other things for the apartment. And then I also grabbed this package from downstairs. It's the replacement mirror. So I'm really hoping that this one's not damaged. I just came home to this package and you can see it says fragile on the side there because it is a mirror. So, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this right away. I can't wait to see how it looks. Oh my gosh, I'm so disappointed. It's like this whole week, something bad has happened every day and this is what I'm left with. So now I have to repackage it up, put it back in the box and send it back. So it's just this dupe of the antique style Baroque mirror and I'm so excited. It's really pretty. I think it could use more of that like rust kind of finish which you could always go over with some rub and buff but I love this. I'm gonna keep this for sure. Alright so I'm starting off this vlog with another DIY project. I've just taken out these marble tiles. I ordered them online. I can leave them linked. Um, but I'm currently just looking at the pieces to see which one I like best because I'm trying to make a side table and this should be a fairly easy DIY project but I do need to get one of these cut because I'm basically gonna make it like a plinth table and I'll need to cut one of them in half to kind of serve as the top and then the bottom piece. I love these two. I think these two are my favorites and then I also like having this as an option because it doesn't have as much veining so i think i'm gonna keep these three for sure i think this is the one i'm gonna cut and then this one here i don't really like it at all so i mean it's beautiful but it's not as nice as the others i don't want it to be the top the bottom or the front so it's gonna be in the back so i'm just following a tutorial from casa refine here on youtube and he just used marble tile with gorilla glue and applied it right to the tile. Now, unfortunately, this exact marble was not available in a 12 by 12 size for the tops, so I will have to cut a piece, but I think it'll be worth it in the end. Just applying that straight down the side here. And then I'm also 
also gonna go ahead and apply it on this side. bringing these two pieces together and then I'm going to hold them together with packaging tape. I don't have any sort of clamp available so that's going to be my easy fix. so happy you guys the first part is done i've got the four panels the side parts already fixed together with the gorilla glue and there is some packaging tape i don't know if you can see it so well but all i need left is the top and the bottom so like i said i have one panel left which is what i'm going to use to cut those pieces out but look at this oh my gosh this is like exactly what I needed to feel good because wow it's coming along so nicely already so I can't wait to see the finished result. I do have to let this sit and dry for about 24 hours so I'm not going to touch it. I've moved it over to this side for that very reason because I knew if it was like in the middle of the floor here I would just trip on it or knock it over <laughs> so I'm trying to cut my losses here and yeah I'm feeling so good about this table. I know it's going to be the perfect look that I was looking for for a fraction of the cost. This tile I think came out to about 70 something dollars for the five pieces and I think it was so worth it because if you look up like a marble plinth side table it comes out to like a thousand dollars. It's absolutely ridiculous. This is definitely a good dupe if you're trying it out yourself. All right we are at Industry City. It looks really cool if you've never been. It's kind of just like build separate buildings it looks like factory stuff but they've got a lilac chocolates and some vintage stores nice little walk towards the water okay i'm now on the other side and it's really pretty i think they've got more of the restaurants over this way another warehouse for design within reach They also have this TV stand that I recommended in one of my videos. It's really nice in person. Like a drawer space. Everything is really well made and I feel like a lot of these pieces aren't even damaged. Okay, I'm back home and that West Elm trip was really a bust, you guys. I didn't find anything that I needed and I also wasn't really finding any sales, but I'm thinking back on it now and realizing that the prices that were marked on the pieces were actually full price and then everything was just 40% off, which I didn't actually calculate in my head. So those weren't the sale prices that I was seeing, which makes more sense now thinking about it because I was like, these things are expensive. <laughs> I'm not gonna buy them but I realized afterwards that I was probably just mistaken, but it's okay, I didn't really find anything that I would have gotten anyway, so I'm gonna leave it at that. Maybe I'll go another weekend and see if they have anything new because I'm sure their inventory changes quite often, so we'll see about that. In the meantime, I'm going to browse the online shops and see if I can find a coffee table or something else that I like. 
Really the ones that I like are from West Elm, so it's a little disappointing, but I'm gonna start looking for dupes. Good morning, you guys. Today is a great day because it is the day that my couch arrives. I am so excited. I have to go ahead and move the chairs because they are currently in the way and I have jackets everywhere, clothes everywhere, but we're gonna make it work. They're gonna be here any minute now, so let's do this. Here's what the area looks like now. I have to move this stuff, but I'm just getting the place ready for my couch. I am so excited. The color looks perfect. It matches the rug really nicely. I still have to set it up and like push it against this wall, but I'm a little worried because the two delivery people <laughs> were struggling to get it in. Um, just because my door is a little narrow and the hallway is a little narrow, but it's really gorgeous. Honestly, looks a little big for the space, but I think we're gonna make it work. It looks so good with the rug. Hey guys, I'm going to Lowe's once more to pick up some wood to hopefully fix this dresser. I'm going for my second attempt on it, so we'll see how it works out. Hopefully better than the last. got the panel I just need to get it cut a few inches off the side so that's what we're working on now I am getting help with my dresser I've got the ring light going we just removed those two panels of compressed wood and here is the new shelf that I got for it this is um, plywood so it's a little different but it should hopefully do the trick we're trying to figure out how to get it in there because as you can see it's got these different kinds of screws so we can't really use those so we're gonna use our own got these screws we'll see all right so we just measured the panel looks like it's gonna fit perfectly I think we're just gonna attach these screws in <laughs> and that's how we're gonna get it to stay all right so I need you to hold it She's beautiful. Got legs, folks. It was a bit tricky, but we've managed to flip over the dresser and it's standing on four legs now. So it definitely clears the closet doors. I'll go ahead and show you. It's quite perfect, honestly. So I'm really happy about that. The only thing is these drawer fronts need a facelift. So that's gonna be coming up soon, hopefully. I've got to figure out where I can find some outdoor space to stain the rest of the pieces because not all of the pieces got stained last time just because of that entire spill that happened. So that's my next plan, but it's going to take a while. I'm just going to leave it like this for now. All right, so I just put the mirror up on top of the dresser where I kind of imagined having it and I am not loving it. I hate to say that, but I don't think it really goes so well. I don't know, maybe the proportions are off or maybe it's just the dark wood that's throwing me off with this like yellow gold. So I definitely think I need to um, apply some of that rub and buff to it just to kind of make it a little bit more like antique looking and hopefully that does the trick. And of course, I'm also doing this dresser DIY. So I brought this piece over to kind of see how it would all come together. I don't know though because this is going to be stained slightly darker just to match the rest of them. I'm kind of loving this lighter like wood tone, but some of the pieces already have stain on them and I don't have enough that don't have the stain to kind of complete the drawers. So I'm just going to stain them all. And yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Because I can still return this, the mirror. So I don't know. I'm still like trying to get a feel for it. Let's see if I can show you the whole thing. This dresser just looks so big for some reason. I don't know, it's throwing me off. Also, let's do a bit of a living room update. The chairs are officially where they're going to be. 
Uh, the only thing is I have to still clear that box once I find space to store all of those clothes. And then I'm gonna move this chair over and have a little table in the middle. I'm trying to figure out if these chairs are just too big for the space. Like they fit, there's enough room, but I don't know if it like overwhelms the apartment and I don't want it to feel like that. I still have plenty of walking room, but I don't know. I'm still figuring out the whole apartment layout. And then a little update with the living room situation. So the couch is here. I just have this blanket draped over it because I'm so worried about staining it now that it's like pretty much off white. Um, but that's the situation there. I did some further research after my little West Elm trip and I think I found a table. So as you can see, I just laid out some tape which marks the dimensions and I think I'm gonna order it. <laughs> I don't know, I'm feeling like I'm just ready to have a table here even though it's not been so long. I like having a coffee table. I like having a place to like put my drink down. So I think I'm gonna order it. I feel like these dimensions are fine. Originally it felt like it was maybe too big because it just extends so far towards the TV stand and then into the couch, but I think it's gonna work out fine. So I'm doing it, I'm placing the order.